بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my friends In the last lessons we explained the construction of the three phase synchronous AC generators Today we will explain or talk about the synchronous generators excitation The exciter is the backbone of the generator control system. It's the power source that supplies the DC magnetizing current to the field winding of synchronous generators. They are by ultimately inducing AC voltage and current in the generator armatures. What is the generator excitation System. Excitation system is an important part of AC synchronous generators which controls the voltage and the reactive power of the synchronous generator. In addition, the speed control system controls the speed or frequency and active power of the prime mover and the generators. What are the main control systems for the generator set or gen set? The excitation control system is a feedback control system composed of a synchronous generators and its excitation system. What are the commonly used generator excitation system? There are six commonly used in a generator excitation. One, conventional excitation, as shown in this picture, conventional excitation. What happened in this excitation? A typical schematic of a conventional method where a driving DC or exciter in this case, build driving. The build is driving. Feed its DC output through a slip rings to the main generators. To the main generators from the DC excitation. The felt current for the exciter itself. or the DC generator is supplied by a rectifier bridge itself piloted by the voltage regulator or it's called AVR automatic voltage regulator as shown in these pictures this device is called the voltage regulator or AVR this function, its function is to regulate the voltage of the exciter or the DC exciter of the main generators. Note, at start of this unit, there is no voltage or no power from the main three-phase distribution in which the AVR is taking its energy. The DC exciter needs current in its stators. The field winding to provide in turn the current in the main generators that's called the rotor. The generator or rotor field winding to build power output. The exciter is using at start the remnant magnetic field of its own iron frame. It's like a small permanent magnetic which can provide at least a small current in its output. Enough to if or enough to have a voltage output of the main generator, the AVR that's shown in this figure, 
the AVR can start to have a current to help the remaining field and to loop is gonna is increasing up the regulating values so it's all about the conventional excitation system it's called the static excitation in the static excitation the rotating DC, the rotating DC or direct current excitor is replaced by a static electronic, by a static excitor or static electronic excitor at start. Same as for the conventional excitation, there is no power output of the generator, no DC current to G to the rotor winding. Two solutions. For a small generator, this system is also using the remnant field magnetism of the rotor. Building gradually the voltage up at generator output. In practice, second solution, the rectifier bridge. The rectifier bridge is supplied by a common three phase sources and not directly from the concerned generator itself. This applies in or important distribution where several generators are in parallel. This method or static excitation is used in the distribution st uh, power stations where the several generators are in parallel connected. So, the static exciter is replaced by the conventional excitation, by the diode that doesn't opposite the current go into the generators. The three methods, it's called a brushless excitation or general case. A further significant development is shown in above schematic. Here is a shaft driving rotating that shown. The shaft rotating exactly has been restored, but it now takes the form or the form of an AC generator of the fixed field type mounted on the main shaft itself. It's the AC current or the Alternating current output is taken through a connection inside the shaft through a diode bridge through a diode bridge which rotates with the shaft and the main rotating field of the generator the field is thus excited by DC without need for brushes and slivering. It will be seen that the exciter cannot be built driving. It must be in integral part of the main shaft. The principal advantage of brushless excitation over other two pair studs is that the absence of brush gears and slivering dirty cases and the maintenance problems. Under short circuit conditions or sudden page load request on mean three phase distribution the generator's output voltage will drop heavily it may even vanish to overcome this a method improvement of a present of here is employed which makes use the short circuit current themselves to provide the missing excitation, this is the next paragraph, as shown in these pictures. That's called brushless excitation or general case that replace with this diode with a diode bridge that a uh, drop of diode. And the AVR or automatic voltage regulator that regulate the voltage 
output from the static excitor uh, into the AC synchronous generators. Fourth method, brushless excitation without pilot excitor. There are three heavy duty current transformers are arranged in the generator output lines as shown in the figure under. Under short circuit conditions when the generator output voltage is very low, the short circuit or current transformer pick up the heavy short circuit conditions. A necessary requirement is network operation so that protection may operate reliably. The fifth method, brushless excitation without pilot excitor. With large brushless generators, the different method is used. Instead of drawing excitation power from the generator output, the AVR has only a voltage sensing connection. As in the conventional case, the excitation of the generators now independent of the generator's output voltage and so is maintained even under short circuit conditions and without the use of short circuit or current transformers this is the arrangement of almost or all platforming generators the sixth or the last method of the excitation it's called the diode bridge excitation on the figure the diodes are shown for clarity so inside the shaft between the excitor between the static excitor and the main generators this bar it's called the diode the excitor output is three phase and the diodes are in fact a three phase four way bridge requirement a six diode element there are a six of this diode it's found in the diode bridge clearly they cannot be purized and the middle of the shaft and in practice are mounted on the rotating blade on the stream of the shaft at the excitor end this makes them easily accessible or inspection testing or replacement now what are the mere rules what are the mere rules of the excitation system one adjust the excitation current according to the change of generator load to maintain the terminal voltage as given value. 2. Control the parallel operation of reactive power distribution between generators. 3. Improve the static stability of the parallel operation of the generator. 4. Improve the transient stability of the parallel operation of the generator. 5. When there is a fault inside the generator, the excitation is performed to reduce the degree of fault loss. 6. Maximum excitation limit and minimum excitation limit are applied to the generator according to the operation requirement. Generator excitation system is a general term for the power supply. And can be taken in circuit design, a combination section and assembly process. To adjust steady states and dynamic characteristics. Three, the consist of the excitation regulator should be as small as small as this one. Four, the structure is simple. 
the maintenance and repairs is convenient and gradually achieves systemization and standardization and generalization so thank you my friends for your listening all this above the synchronous AC generator excitation and its methods. Thank you for your listening.